Hey there! When using the Olama CLI or REPL, there are now keyboard shortcuts that you can use to, to move around the prompt. These can be useful when leveraging the previous prompt, but you need to change something. On Linux, the shortcuts should work as expected, but it's possible that on Mac, they might not work as designed. At least, that was my experience. Let's take a look at why this happens. To get to the REPL, run Olama, run, and then the model name. Llama 2 came out pretty recently, so I'll use that one. To find the list of shortcuts, type slash question mark and then shortcuts. You can see there are a few options here. Control A and Control E, move to the beginning and to the end of the line. Now, that can actually be a little confusing. I think anytime you see line or sentence, really think of it as prompt. So Control A moves to the beginning of the prompt and Control E moves to the end of the prompt. Next comes Alt B and Alt F for moving back and forward by a word. On my Mac, this didn't work. If you're seeing a similar issue, then this might be the way to fix it for you. If you're using the standard Mac terminal, then open preferences and navigate to profiles and whichever profile you're using. Go to the keyboard tab and then check the checkbox for use option as meta key. If you're using iTerm, bring up preferences, then profiles, then the keys tab and then the sub tab for general. You can see there are settings for the left and right option key. Mine were already set to escape plus, but my left option key had apps can change this enabled. Disable that. Now go back to the terminal and alt or on the Mac option, B and F work as expected. Finally, there's control K and control U to delete everything before or after where the cursor is. It says sentence as of this recording, but just think of it as the entire prompt to or from the cursor. The last three options are Control L to clear the screen, Control C to stop the model from responding, and Control D to quit the REPL. If you're using a different terminal and you're having similar problems, look around for any preferences that deal with the Alt or Option key. That may be the key to the solution. Maybe even include what you did in the comments below. Well, hopefully this is useful for you. If there's anything else you'd like to see, let me know in the comments below. Thanks so much for watching. Goodbye.